Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Stealth Captain America from the Mandroid series. So I figured I'd go ahead and finish up the Mandroid wave. I don't have too many left. Um, it's a really cool Captain America. I definitely have liked this suit from the Winter Soldier movie. I thought it was just awesome in the beginning seeing him in this darker blue, you know, sleek suit. And I thought it was really awesome seeing that uh, shield painted completely different, you know, with the dark blue with the silver. I just thought, great looking suit. But anyway, we'll go ahead and let him finish up his 360, and then we will uh, check out the accessories first, and then the details. All right, guys, so first up, we'll check out the Steve Rogers head he comes with. Um, this is the first time this uh, head was released, was in this figure. Um, just, you know, to me, it's more of a comic accurate uh, Steve Rogers head compared to a Chris Evans uh, face. But it's just, you know, his eyes are looking straight on. He's got the blonde hair kind of swished to the side. That looks. I mean, it's a cool comp to me. It's a cool comic, accurate uh, Steve Rogers head rather than a movie. And then he also comes with two ha two hands, one pointy finger in his brown gloves, and then one salute hand, which we've seen before with the uh, I believe Thanos wave uh, Captain America. So coming up with the shield, I just think the shield looks really cool. It's got this nice light blue on the outside. It does have some of that marbleized look, which kind of to me, it kind of takes away because in the movie that you know, obviously was just painted the lighter blue, but I think it looks really good um, here. And then um, it's got the darker gunmetal silver along the inside here, more of that lighter blue, darker blue with the silver star. But I really like how you can see the rivets on each corner of the star. Um, I mean, it's a clean, you know, on this one, it's a really clean paint job. You can see it's just uh, not bleeding over. There's not really any silver kind of going over the edge. And then the way it's strapped on, you can see it's got some brown straps right here. You can kind of see some of the buckles and the rivets. Um, it's kind of firmly stuck on there. I haven't taken his, I haven't swapped out hands in so long on this figure that the peg is really in there. Um, the way I put it on is I take the hand off and I slide this on first and I push the hand back on. It really secures it down. So I can't really pull the shield off right now the way it is. And I'm just struggling to get that off. So that's why I didn't um, have the shield off while doing this uh the details here. So we're going to start off with the head sculpt. It's the first time, you know, it's the head, same head that we've seen with all the other movie Captain America's besides the more current one uh, from the uh, Thanos movie wave. But it's a really uh, cool looking Captain America. I mean, you can really see the um, A printed right on there on the front. Mine's a little slanted to the right. As you can see, it's kind of more on his right eye. Then the left, you can definitely tell right here with these rivets on the top that it is off-centered. But it's got a good flesh tone. I really like the brown uh, chin strap. I think that looks really cool. But it definitely looks like, you know, a cool looking skull cap, you know, helmet. You can definitely see all the sculpting line work and the rivets um, and some of the um, texturing detail to give it that more realistic helmet look. And he does have some silver paint applications for like the little wings. I think that looks really good. Around the neck here, you can just see more of those uh, texturing. I'm hoping you guys can see that. I'll zoom it in so you guys can see that texturing. I think that looks really cool on the suit. It gives it some more of that movie accuracy. He does have those brown uh, straps along his shoulders. I really like on the side here, you can see the American flag. It even says Rogers. I think that's awesome. And on this side, it has the shield logo. It is a little blurry, kind of just because of the texturing on the paint, it looks kind of funny, but you can definitely tell it's the shield logo. I just really like those, that whole star uh, sculpted right there on the chest. And same thing with these uh, silver flared out pieces, it looks really good. Coming around the back, it's got the nice, uh, where the, you know, the straps connect to the metal on its back for where the shield magnet you know sticks right there. That looks really cool. Bummer thing about this figure, you cannot mount the uh, shield on his back which is kind of a big thing with captain america figures it's always awesome when you can do that but in this one you can't but you can see more of that texturing kind of like the armor plating you know on his suit i think that looks really cool he's got his little cut off you know gloves looks awesome he's got the fisted hands on this one um he's got the brown belt buckle he does have some black inlay on the insides here and in the middle of his stomach he's got kind of more of a bronze belt buckle and then the belt itself is just brown with all the pouches and it's just got more armor like on his butt here. And it's got some red paint along the side. It's more black, but it's mostly the darker blue. But I really just liked how uh, plated armor it looked. I think that looks really cool. And it's got the more combat looking boots. The, you know, brown buckles on the side. And the tread. 
And I, I always like it when they sculpt into the joint so it really uh, matches into the back of the leg, you know, flush. I think that looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to go over in the articulation. So his head is able to look up. Man, I oh, this is just on the ball peg, I believe. Oh, no, it's got a joint. Jeez, I kind of forgot. So his head's able to look up. Not that much. Looks down pretty far. Looks left and right and kind of wobbles. It's got ball joints in the shoulders. So move out, forward, and back. It's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, also a hinge at the wrist. Excuse me. It's got a nice ab crunch, crunches forward very far, crunches back very far. It's got a waist swivel and the belt is a little loose so you can move it you know, up and down the way if you need it to. Kicks forward very high. Spreads not so much. <laughs> it's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, boot rotation. Ankles move down, they move up. He also has a nice ankle rocker and peggles on his feet. All right, show you guys how tall he is and I'll show him compared to a couple of the other movie caps. All right, guys, so stealth cap stands right around six, a little over six inches tall. So here he is from the Civil War three pack cap that a lot of people have seen uh, with the battle damage. As mine has his little shield fall off. There you go. This one's actually really cool. I really like this cap. This is actually one I have currently with my Avengers uh, movie display just because I like the damage on the shield. Here he is with the Thanos wave movie cap where he's more of a lighter blue. And here he is again with the giant man, movie giant man wave. Um, Captain America, which is basically the three pack without the damage. So we've definitely have seen this figure many times over. Um, I believe I, ha yeah, I have all four versions using that body style. Uh, it's, I mean, it's cool to have them all, but definitely these two are very much the same, just one's battle damage. But overall, I really like the stealth cap. I just think it's, it was just an awesome part of the movie. Um, it's just a cool suit to me. But yep, so there you go, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button, subscribe if you have it, and definitely ask any questions or if you want to see him compared to anything else, just let me know and I'll definitely make a video on that. All right, guys, talk to you later. Take care. Bye.